Uh, Africa is a uh, very uh, spiritual continent. If we were just to isolate our contributions to world religions, we would see this. The first sacred book in the world was written by Africa, in Africa, by, written by Africans in Africa over 6,000 years ago. It's incorrectly called the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Uh, thanks to our struggle by many of our intellectuals today who have applied their skills to the people's struggle, they've come to show that the real title should be the Book of Coming Forth. I imagine this is your area you know much better than I. It was Africa that gave to the world monotheism, belief in one God. It was Africa that gave to the world Judaism, and this one must be properly understood. Because here a lot of confusion comes into play, and Zionism plays an evil role here, trying to confuse everything. Uh, Judaism was given to the world by Africa. It could only be given to the world by Africa, because in that part of the world, the only place where monotheism had been accepted and was breeding was in Africa. If you looked east to Africa, in Persia, they were worshipping the sun. To the north of Africa, in Palestine, they were worshipping idols and would do so until the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon his name, came to uh, give them monotheism in the form of Islam. So it was Africa that gave Judaism to the world. I know the first Jews in the world were Africans. That's why I'm never confused. They call me anti-Jewish. and I'm, I'm anti-Zionist. I can't be anti-Jewish. My people gave you the religion. You know. On the question of Christianity, again, Africa's role is, you know, when Jesus Christ, peace be upon his name, was in trouble, it was only Africa that gave him refuge. That's where he grew up as a young man, learning and growing. The very first country mentioned the Bible, Genesis 2, verse 13, uh, is Nubia and Ethiopia. If my memory serves me correctly, I think in the Bible they're called Havila and sometimes Cush. That's Genesis 2, verse 13. If you just take statistical analysis of the Bible, you will say Egypt and uh, Ethiopia is mentioned more than Israel. Of course, we know the role of Africa in uh, giving protection to the uh, disciples of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon his name, when they were in trouble. And even given refuge to uh, Joseph when he was sold by his brothers into uh, Egypt. So Africa is a very spiritual uh, society. This spirituality must be respected and must be understood. But uh, by this, we do not mean that this spirituality broken down into religions. That's where people get confused between spirituality and religion. We just want to make that clear. But Africa certainly has, uh, throughout the continent, a great sense of spirituality, and one which, uh, even if you're not African, when you're in the continent, you become amazed at it.